Hey guys, this is Mr. V and this is Abe's review video, topic 6.1, renewable and non-renewable resources. So when we're talking about renewable, non-renewable resources, the idea is that we need to get energy for humans to um, advance through our civilization. So it doesn't matter whether you're a hunter-gatherer or whether you're an industrial or even a post-industrial country, um, you need to have some form of energy to continue um, advancing and maintaining your culture, right? If you're a hunter-gatherer, you're going to need probably firewood and biomass. Um, if you're an industrial nation, you're going to be using a lot of fossil fuels and trying to make the uh, transition over to renewable energy. But because of that, you tend to have a lot of positive and negative consequences, no matter what your resource is. So we look here, these are some examples of non-renewable resources. We have natural gas, um, oil, uh, nuclear, and of course, uh, coal. So the thing about these you have to remember is that they are fixed amount of resource, okay? Um, so they're going to be what we call, the, you're gonna hear the word finite a lot, right? Finite, so think about the word infinite, meaning you have as much as you want, but then you have finite, meaning you have a fixed amount and it's not going to um, increase anytime soon, right? Um, and then so you have this uh, thing where you have to transform it into something else to get, it, to get energy from there and you can't, you know, replace it as easily, right? Um, and of course, the idea is that we're seeing most of these resources end up producing a ton of greenhouse gases. So we'll be learning about that um, in later episodes. And so here we look at renewable resources. Now, these can be replenished naturally. So um, when you're talking about biomass or wood, that can be a renewable resource if you manage it properly. Then you have unlimited resources such as sunlight, um, and then you can have uh, and wind and water. But the thing is, if they're not managed properly, they're not going to be handled very well. Now, the downside too is that the costs for these tend to be prohibitive. That means that you can use these over and over and over again. The problem is that right now they're too expensive to do you know that's why not everybody has solar panels or everybody not doesn't have an electric car because while that may be uh that may run on uh you know electric energy and if you use that from a solar or wind resource that's great the problem is those tend to be a little bit higher cost monthly and they need to, to uh end up uh end up causing a little bit extra uh up front and that's something that can be handled for many people so so here's some other resources to look into these renewable and non-renewable resources. Um, so hopefully this uh, will be helpful and hopefully this video was helpful. Thank you.